Hello everyone. Now let's check one video uh, on the new function of the Samsung Formal Repair Tool. Uh, this video is offered by Dolphin Technic Support Team. Now we have collected one new Seagate Samsung hard drive to DFL SRP Formal Repair hardware. Now let's check the SATA zero and the Samsung hard drive is connected to the SATA zero and we power on the drive and wait until the drive gets ready. Now we enter the program. We can see that the DFL Samsung from repair to detect this hard drive family automatically and then we click start and program read all the hard drive ID information here we need to open the com port and then we click enter we can get this ENG prompt so this is very similar like the F3T prompt for the Seagate hard drive, but for the Samsung hard drive, we can check this indication, ENG prompt. After we get this one, we can try to read the ROM. Now read ROM. Now we can see that the program is starting to back up the ROM. After back up the ROM, we can try to check the head map. And for Samsung hard drives, sometimes it is very common case that one of the heads are weak or damaged, then it is necessary to use the head map editing in the ROM function and to get the hard drive ready and image it properly. Now we just need to wait until the ROM backup complete. After ROM back, backup completes, then we go to the ROM operations and then click head map edit. Now we just need to wait a little bit. We usually call this ST model. We can see that ST1000 LM024. This seems like one CG hard drive, but actually we can check the family M8E. So this is one laptop M8E family Samsung hard drive. Okay, CG model, but actually something hard drive so for the firmware issue head issue or sometimes we when we try to set up the head map we need to use the samsung program if users use sigi program and the head map cannot be set up So we just need to pay attention to this one. We check the family, the PCB, and the firmware. We can see this is a firmware for something hard drives. From all this information, we can see that this belongs to belongs to the Samsung hard drive technology.
ROM backup lists a combination of the ATA and COM ports. So it's a little bit slow than the Seagate ROM backup with high baud rate. Anyway, it is still okay. And we can see now it's 86%. Now we can see the ROM backup is going to be completed. Now see, in this log window, we can find out the operation success. Now we can learn from this, the ROM backup has completed. Now we go to the head map, edit, and we try to note from file, because we just have the backup of the ROM. Now we can see this is the ROM. Uh, the ROM name is made by the microcode. We can see this is microcode, this ROM name. Now we double click this one, and we can see this is the head map in the ROM. We just detect it. And if the top head, the head 3, is damaged, so we need to untick this head 3 and click OK. Then it will be stored with a different name by the modified the ROM. Now we save the ROM. OK. We save the ROM. Now we write. After we save the ROM, we click Write ROM. And we can see this is the new ROM with different head map without head 3. We just disable the head 3. So we need to select the new ROM to write. Now we can see that the program starts to write the new ROM. And we can see this it's modified ROM. After writing this one, we click power off and power on and we can see if this HDD still gets ready and we can see the head count number and we can also check the head map. Now this ROM has been modified with new head map from head map 0, 1, 2, 3 to the new head map 0, 1, 2 because head 3 has been disabled in the ROM. Now we just need to check and wait.
one thing we need to pay attention about the com port. Now we can see if we use enter, we cannot get the ENG prompt. Now we need to try to power off and power on the drive again. And we go to the com port and try to click now we can enter the ENG prompt. Let's try to write the new ROM again. After users write or read the ROM, it's better to power off and power on for something drives and then continue. Before reading and writing, it's better to test in the COM port if the HDD can enter the ENG prompt. Only after users are able to enter the ENG prompt, users can write the ROM successfully. Now let's check this so we can find out we need just need a little bit to see this one Now we can see it's seventy percent. Now we can see from the log window, write success. After write success, we click power off and power on the drive and see if the drive gets ready. Now we can see searching complete and then we try to enter the program and start to read the drive. And we can see now the head count three. Now we can see after disable the head 3 the head number changed from 4 to 3 and then we click head map edit load from file and this is new ROM now we can see there are only three heads and this time dead head is disabled so at this time we can go to the DFL DDP data recovery program and then set up the head map and then we can image only head 0, head 1 and head 2. So this one is very helpful especially when the pension hard drive has some weak heads or when the surface is scratched. Sometimes, if the surface is scratched, we need to cut the heads physically and then use this head map editing function in ROM to get at least some of the data of the pension hard drive.